Um, hi. All right, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Nikki and this is my book nook. Um, I just have to address the elephant in the room before I begin anything else. Um, I got bangs. Uh, long story short, you would have already seen if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, but I have watched the trailer for Daisy Jones and the Six about a hundred times. Like that is one of my absolute favorite books of all time. The trailer is now out. I have been dying in anticipation of the show. Watching the trailer, I'm just like, I simply need to become Daisy Jones, so like this was the closest I felt I could get. Um, impulse decision, not mad about it. You gotta do what you gotta do. I literally just got home from my very first book event ever, book convention, author signing, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I had the best day. Seriously, I got to meet some of my bookstagram friends that I've been talking to for so long. My friend Morgan, who I constantly talk about on this channel, she's turning the pages on Instagram. Um, she had an extra ticket to this book event literally months ago when we were barely even talking. She's like, hey, I know you're from Dallas. I have an extra ticket to this. Do you maybe want to go? And I was like, I literally don't know you, but like, yes, absolutely. And then since then, we've literally talked every single day. <laughs> like we talk every single day. We text each other all the time. Um, we are like author buddies. We constantly talk about writing. So it was so fun to finally meet her in person. Also meet um, my friend Danny in person. Like it was just a great time. I honestly did not know what to expect. I'd never been to something like this and I might not seem like it because obviously I have a YouTube channel. I come on here. I talk to tons of people about books, but in real life, like I am very much an introvert. I have a lot of social anxiety and going to something like this for me was like a little scary because I just am like, I don't like, what do I do? What do I say? Like if I meet authors, like I don't know, I, like even authors that I know, I'm like, what do I say? Like, hi, I love you. I love your books. Like this kind of thing just like stresses me out. So I was just like, I don't know how it's going to go. Um, but <laughs> after like 30 minutes, I got out of my shell and before I knew it, I was just going up and talking to everyone. I met a lot of authors that I know of and you know have heard of got some of their books but I also met so many new authors that I had never heard of before bought some of their books I'm so excited about it I have so many things to show you I bought like 10 books today 10 freaking books I literally did not go with the intention of doing that like my friends I was going with were saying like you need to bring a cart you need to bring something to haul your books in I'm like why I'm not gonna buy books like I'm just there to chill like I literally, the only author that I really knew that was going to be at this event, like I knew of the authors, but the only author there that had written a book that I had read was Lucia Franco. She's the author of the Off Balance series, which I just read in the last month or two, obsessed, like literally on my knees. I was so excited to meet her. So I was like, I'm just gonna bring my copy of Balance and have her sign it. And then I'm just gonna be like there to chill. Like I'm not gonna buy books. Ah ha ha, ah ha ha. Funny, funny thought, Nikki. Really, really funny thought. I went off the rails like I mean what 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 can we expect at this point but it was a great time so um I just want to show you guys everything I got first of all let's start with Lucia Franco I'll throw up my little picture that I got with her here again I was like so flustered I was just like I, I love you um I never read a series straight through literally ever I always take a break in between the books yours I devoured in like two weeks I didn't even know what to do with myself she was super sweet so beautiful I mean I knew like she was a gymnast herself like her series is about a gymnast and she just looked like a petite little fit gymnast like I was like damn girl you pop off obsessed but she signed my book and I love it because she signed it and said, Nikki, morals are overrated. Love, Lucia Franco. And I'm just like, I love her so much. Like, if you're not aware, this is a very, like, forbidden, taboo book about a gymnast and her coach. Major age gap, major forbidden, everything you can imagine. So I just love it. I love that she owns it. I love how confident she is in her series and how much she's obsessed with her characters. Just, like, hearing her talk about them in person such a magical experience. So I'm so glad that I got this signed. And then also I owned this book <laughs> underneath the sycamore tree by B Celeste. I have heard so many people talk about it. So many people have recommended it to me. I like very different ends of the spectrum when it comes to book. I, I love like a good, like spicy book, a good taboo book. Like I love all that, but I also love a good 
emotional read. I love books about life and the meaning of life. And so I just know this is going to be so up my alley. So I've had this book for a while now because I've been planning to film a video um, where I read a bunch of sad books. Like I want to do a whole like reading vlog of reading like five sad books. So that's what I intended to do with this book. So I haven't read it yet, but I knew B Celeste was going to be there. So um, I brought the book with me and I told her, I was like, okay, full disclosure, like haven't read this yet, but like I have a YouTube channel. I'm planning to read it. Um, hopefully it makes me cry. And she's like, I think that's a great book to include in that video. So she was super cute. She signed it for me. Here's our little picture. Um, I felt like a weird connection to her because she was like a tall redhead and I'm just like, unite. I love it. <laughs> but, um, those were the two books that I brought to get signed. Everything else I just bought there. Like seriously, y'all, I was off my rocker. There were so many hockey romance authors there. And if you guys know me at all, dangerous place for me to be. Like I, I don't know. I like, I read through the list of authors and I didn't recognize a lot of them. There were a handful that I did, but there were so many people where like, once I was there and I was seeing their books on the table, I was like, Oh my gosh, like I recognize you. But there were also so many that I didn't recognize that looked so good. So I'll just like start at the beginning. First of all, with the hockey romance books, I got playing to win by Stacey Lynn. Um, she was very sweet. This is the beginning of a book in her series called the ice King series. Literally, I was just like blacking out. I was like, this looks great. Um, on the back it says it's like about a relationship between a hockey player and it says he's her patient. I don't know if like she's his doctor or like his physical therapist or like his psychologist. I don't really know, but it kind of sounds like they had a three week fling. Didn't intend for it to go anywhere, but like can't let each other go sort of thing. Um, it had really great reviews on Amazon. And again, the author was like super sweet. So got this and just got her to sign it for me. So I'm very excited to get into it. I just literally, I was there with my friends and um, they were at her table and they saw all of these hockey books laid out and they were just like, Nikki, hockey, hockey. Like I was at a different table and I was just like, what, excuse me? And just bought it instantly. But this book, I saw this book across the room. Like this author had this entire series. She only had two of them out, but she had this series with these books out and I could just tell, I was like, those, those are hockey books. Like that has to be about hockey. Like I was like, it could be football, but something in me is just telling me it's hockey. So like we went over to her table and I'm obsessed with this book cover. Like it's so simple, but I just think it's so cool. Like each of the books in the series is just named after the guy's last name and it has his number on it. It's so cool. But um, she was super cool. I talked to her for a while. Her name's Mignon Michael. And um, yeah, so she said that like all of her books are within the same world. She has like 15 books or something like that. And they're all within the same universe, but there's all different like aspects of it. And you don't have to read all of them in order. It's not anything like that. So she was kind of giving me the rundown. She said this was a great place to start. This is like the start of her hockey you know, portion of her world. And the first book is called Winsky, obviously. Everything in me wanted to buy like all the books in the series that she had on the table, but I was like, have some self-control, just get the first one. If you love it, you'll buy the rest. It was difficult. It was difficult to walk away without those. Okay, but this author also had another book, this one, which she's just beautiful, isn't she? It's called Free Bird. And she said it was about basically a secret service man and the president of the United States daughter. And when she was explaining to me, it just sounded like it reminded me so much of Twisted Games by Anna Huang. Like I love Twisted Games and I just love the vibe of that. I love the forbiddenness of it. I love the whole like bodyguard romance. And as she was talking about it, it was just like giving me those warm and fuzzies. I was like, if it makes me feel anything like Twisted Games made me feel like all over it, I had to have it. So super excited to have both of these books by her. I'm excited to check it out. It's just, I feel like I, I have good feelings about it. So you guys know, I'm always about the hockey romance. I'm especially on a hockey romance kick right now, but the other thing that I'm really on a kick with is MM romance. So male, male romance. Y'all, if you've never tried it, like do not knock it till you try it. It really just hits differently. Even if like you think it's not your thing, it's so hot. That's all I gotta say. I don't know, but um, I saw these books across the room. Several of these covers, like, that was the situation. I just like spotted them. They say don't judge a book by its cover. Y'all, look, I'm sorry. If a cover is beautiful, I'm gonna buy it. Like it's gonna catch my eye. The covers are so important. So these covers sold these books to me. I saw these sitting across the room and I was like, what is that? Me and Morgan both love MM Romance. Morgan is honestly like the queen of MM Romance. Like I owe everything to her. Like she's the one that turned me onto it like fully to the extent that I am. But 
these books are so freaking beautiful this one especially i'm sorry this man's tattoos are stunning like i just was all over it so it's the d in 403b and the v in 40c 403c so um i talked to the author about it she again was very sweet took a little picture with her right here um but she was saying that they're Two standalone books, but they're both about guys that live in the same apartment building together. This one, I kind of like skimmed through the synopsis. I guess it's about like two neighbors that live in the apartment building that start like writing notes back and forth to each other, like don't really know who the other person is. And then it kind of turns into something more. And then this one seems like it's about a guy that like hooks up with this other guy at this club thinking he's never gonna see him again. And it turns out that he is his TA in his class at college. So. All about that like I just have a feeling that these are gonna be so good and they're just so pretty like I can't wait to post them on my Instagram I'm just excited about it I'm so excited about so many of these books because like I don't know I just love feeling like like when you find a book that isn't super popular that you haven't seen before like I love the opportunity to like talk about those books and get them out there and you know feel like this was my book like I put it out into the world like I'm getting people to read it like I love promoting authors that like don't have the hype they deserve so I'm just like excited to read them I'm excited to post them and I like I want to see them blow up I'm excited about it but um on the on the kick of MM there was this other author that we came across their covers were so stunning and we me and Morgan were like hello what is this um Morgan bought the whole damn series and I don't blame her um this is the start to a series about a rock band it's all about these like five guys that are in this rock band together i guess they each have their own book i just got the first one it sounds insane like i can't even like i'll get demonetized i can't even read the first two lines of this but like let me just tell you it sounds insanely spicy all the guys names are so hot emory and river are their names in this but like morgan got the whole series and all their names sounded so hot it just sounds so good like i just have a feeling the covers are so good rockstar and then like it's just it's gonna be hot and the author was super super cool i was obsessed with him and i followed him and i very very excited i feel like morgan's gonna start this immediately and i'm gonna be super jealous and have to start it myself but mm, so good okay next this is super exciting i got to meet jennifer hartman y'all i get a lot of comments a lot of dms you know from having this channel people ask me to read books all the time they recommend books to me all the time they say nikki i want to see a review of this like please or they'll just say you know i know what you like i know your taste i'm telling you you will love this book and genuinely i think that still beating by jennifer hartman is like the book that i have been the most hounded to read and like the one that i haven't read yet that like i get so many messages about this still all the time people are like nikki i'm telling you you're gonna be obsessed so I was so excited to get to meet Jennifer Hartman. She was such a sweetheart. We stepped up to her table and she only had one copy of this left because she had a line. Like she had, she was a ticketed author. You had to like have a wristband. So we had to keep going back. It took like hours before um, we could go and stand at her line, but so worth the wait because she was super nice and she only had one copy of this left and her husband went out to their car and like got another box of the book so that we could buy multiple copies because we all wanted one. Um, so such a good experience. She signed him. She was so sweet. Um, this is a story about this guy and this girl that are like arch nemesis and they end up getting kidnapped together. And so they basically are kidnapped and they have to like help each other get out of the situation, survive. I think it's like very traumatic and that kind of forces them to like trauma bond together. I've heard so many good things about it. So I am so excited to read this, like so freaking excited. And now that like I have met her, I have this like personal connection to it. And I'm like, I really want to read it. But Again, I was off my rocker, so <laughs> I went with the intention of just getting this book, but I had to get these two because they look stunning. Like, an optimist guide to heartbreak and a pessimist guide to love. I wish I came up with these titles myself. Like, I wanna write these books. They are the coolest titles. The covers are so pretty. Them together on my shelf, like, I cannot wait through my mind just now, I was like, this is like a better version of It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us, no? <laughs> like I just realized it kind of reminds me of that. No, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there, but um, they just sound really good. They sound, um, it's a duet, so it sounds like, you know, lots of heartbreak, lots of pain. Um, it sounds like a best friend's older brother situation, workplace romance, like it just sounds all types of good and I cannot freaking wait to read it. So those were all the books I got. Um, aside from that, 
My friend Danny made us all these little autograph books, which was so sweet. I didn't know she was gonna do this. So a lot of the authors whose like books I didn't buy, I just got their signature. Um, it was so cool to just like meet all these people. Uh, Willow Winters was there, who I know is like huge. I felt so bad for her because something happened and all of her stuff got stuck at the post office. Like she shipped all of her stuff to the event and somehow it got stuck at the post office. So like her signs and all of her books that she was gonna bring, but she like made the best out of it. She was just standing at her completely empty table. Her husband was there pouring glasses of champagne for everybody and she just like was so sweet. So I got her signature and then Brittany Cherry I met and she was so cool. Like I am dying to read her books. She has so many. I ended up following her. I definitely heard of her before. Like I knew who she was, but um, after meeting her, I was just like, oh my God, like, I don't know. It was really cool. I had a really good experience. I've had a lot of experience with meeting like, it's not the same, but I met a lot of like YouTubers back in the era of YouTube, like 2013. And you know, it's kind of hard when you are like obsessed with somebody or you follow them and you just have this expectation of meeting them and like they don't live up to your standards. Like it's kind of, that's a very rough feeling. So I just didn't know how this was gonna go and I just had like such positive experiences with all the authors I met. They were all just like super sweet and like even the authors that I didn't know who they were, because they were so nice and so cool and like so welcoming, it just made me wanna read their book. So yeah, I just loved it. Got my little author book and then besides that, I got so many stickers, like so many authors were giving out stickers and then I bought a few. This was Lucia's little off balance sticker. It's a little gymnast one. And then um, I can't remember whose this was, but it says, I'll be your psycho. I love this. Like I am putting this on my laptop. Um, I bought some stickers. This one, it's like, it's a little Sriracha bottle. It says spice queen. Uh, this one I thought was so pretty. It says, sorry, my weekend is booked. It's this little girl holding a book on it. Super cute. I love this one. This one says fiction addiction. Super cute. This one is B Celeste. This was at her table. This is her actual cat. She took this picture. It says read bitch. That is literally so me. So my cats. Like I always feel like they're judging me, telling me I should read. This one says relationship status uh, in a relationship with a fictional character. Uh, literally me why um holly renee had these that says here lies my self-control and it's like a gravestone with all these books that was me after today honestly and um this one i just the author in me loved this it says grow with every chapter and it's got like a little leaf on it um i just feel like that's like after each chapter you write you grow a little bit more as an author this one says late night readers club definitely me i never ever read at any decent hour of the night because why would i okay and the last thing i got i'm like am i gonna get demonetized if i show you this it's a little, it's a little sparkly dick. <laughs> I'm trying to remember who had these at their booth. It's the author of the book Hawk. I almost, I wanted to buy, she had her entire series there. It was like binded together and it was so beautiful. It's like a series about these, I think it's four different books in the series and it's all guys that work at this tattoo shop. So she had like the full series together in one paperback and it looked like it had tattoo flash designs all over it. I added it to my Amazon cart. Let me figure out what it is. It was Cat Savage, The Men of Bird's Eye her table she had these free little sparkly resin uh wieners if you will and like i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i might just put it on my bookshelf <laughs> call it a day but yeah guys that's pretty much everything that i got i got a few like pens and stuff here and there i got like this bookmark from lucia franco but that's really the bulk of it I had so much fun. I'm so glad I went. I really wanna to try to like branch out this year and do more things like this. I also just in general, as a public statement, I would just like us all as a book community to just like branch out a little. You know, I see so many of the same authors on my feed and like I'm guilty as well. If people are talking about a book, I'm like, okay, let me read it. Let me add it to my TBR. And like people are asking me to review a book. I'm like, let me read it, let me read it. But it's like, there are so many authors out there that are not super well known that have incredible books. And I feel like half the time when I f like end up loving a book, it's usually not a book that's super popular or super hyped. Like it's always one where I'm like, how are more people not talking about this? So I want to try to branch out a little bit more this year. I don't want to read books just because I feel pressured to read them. Not that I do that, but um, definitely when there's big new releases, you know, you kind of get the FOMO, you feel like you got to read it. So I want to read more books by less known authors and I'm committing to that. I don't know. It was just really cool to go to this book event as a reader, but also like as an author myself, super inspiring to see all these people. I had like a lot of conversations with authors about me being an author and you know, certain books that I have planned and whatnot. I talked to authors about, you know, that write that kind of thing. And it's just really cool. I'm just like, I 
would love to be here one day. <laughs> like seeing these authors that just like have these tables set up with like 10 books that they've written on it. So freaking cool. Just like so awesome. It's such just such a such a cool place. Such a cool world. I love the book world. I love the writing world. Um, it's very magical. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. <laughs>